All right, in this short video, I'm going to talk about how to use GitHub to host our P5.js sketches. And so you can take your project files and up upload them and then use what we call GitHub pages. It used to be formerly called GH pages to host these um, website pages, these HTML pages with CSS and JavaScript, just like you would a regular website. And so the user experiences would be just like as if we were in this P5 editor and um, be able to interact with it like a regular web page. So um, let's jump into it. Let's say that we have our P5 sketch that we've been working inside the editor. We're going to go ahead and hit, hit file, file, and then hit download. And depending on your browser, it's going to give you the option to download. For me, it popped up here in Chrome. And I can see that in my finder. I'm on a Mac. And I can open up my uh, zip file. And it's going to show me the contents of this folder. Uh, it should be, depending on how complicated your sketch is and the number of classes or additional files you have, it should be around the number that I have here. So we can see the index page and then um, the P5 library that we absolutely need. If you're using sound, then this is the minified uh, sound library. And then the sketch itself. And so you might have multiple sketches depending on how you call these files. But we need all of these. And just keep track of where they are because we're going to come back to them in a moment. So now that we've downloaded those things, we'll go to GitHub. And after you've logged in, uh, let's just click on OctoCat so that we can go to uh, a fresh start of this home page. And for me, I'm going to click on New. And I'm going to name a new repository. And you can call it Mag Expo Submission or the name of the sketch itself. Uh, so I'm just going to call this P5 Demo. You should see a check mark to see if it's available. You might have multiple repositories and you don't want to duplicate them, obviously. A couple things that are important here is that we want to make sure that we're using public so that other people can see this. Um, we do not want to check readme file because it will override the visibility of HTML pages. Other than that, you can decide to click on these if you want to, especially if you want to um, hold a license for your original IP. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave these all unchecked and I'm going to click on Create Repository. It may take a second, and then you'll see some prompts to tell you, like, hey, if you're using command line, then these are some commands that you might use in your local machine to commit and push your um, P5.js sketches to GitHub if you want to. But for the, ma for the purposes of this video, those are all unnecessary. We can go to click on this blue link that says Uploading and up existing file because we've just recently downloaded those files we're going to use this option and just simply click and drag them into this area I'm just going to go back just so that you in case you might have missed where I was clicking I'm clicking on uploading an existing file and so you can see this prompt it says drag files here to add them to your repository I'm going to pull in my file um, folder here and just I clicked shift clicked all of these and then I'm just going to drag them all into that drop box. You can see them starting to upload to this area. It's not fully onto the, the cloud yet. Um, I need to make sure that I have maybe a commit a comment. This could be my initial commit. And then I need to commit these changes by clicking on this green button. If I don't click on the screen button and X out of this window, uh, those files don't actually get saved or uploaded. So make sure that you click on that. It may take a second. It'll say something like processing your files. And then you should be able to see these files now. And so these are exactly the same files that we had just uploaded. Um, and so we can click on these, but you'll notice that if I click on them individually, these are just the source files. And for the user experience, that um, doesn't really give them the purpose, or you, they don't get the experience of what you coded. So um, it's great for someone that wants to look at your code, but the experience is not there, right? So what do we need to do now? I'm going to go back to uh, code or, or just simply go to settings, click on settings. And we're going to move down to the option that says pages. Click on pages. And from here, it's going to ask you some questions. GH pages is the function inside GitHub. Oh, GitHub pages is the function that allows you to display HTML pages uh, that GitHub will now host for you. 
So if we click on none, it's going to give you a few options to where the source of your HTML or your GitHub pages are going to be. And for mine, it's going to be in main. Because if I click back into pages, you'll notice that they all belong into the main branch. If I had created another branch and committed those to that branch, then I would select that one. But in this case, it's going to be main for me. So I'll go back to settings, click on pages, and I will select main and then hit save. Uh, there's this further option about root. So maybe if you have multiple sketches that you want to put in, put into this one repository, you can create different folders. But uh, since I put them all into the root folder, then that's where it would be. So I've selected root and, and then I hit save. From here, this blue highlighted box is the link that you're going to send us so that we can post that on the MAGD Expo page. And so all you have to do is copy this link and then send that over to us. And one thing to, to do is obviously test this, right? And it, GitHub Pages is not instantaneous. So if I were to click on this right now, it may tell you that that page is dead. Um, and so my suggestion is just maybe wait a minute or two because it may give you like a 404 error. Um, that's just, it's going to take just a little bit of time just for them to process and load the pages. Otherwise, um, a after a short bit of time, then you sh your page should pull up. And now we can see that my sketch is visible just like you would have seen it here in the editor for P5.js. And so it's prompting me just like you would expect to ask me to press a button and I'm going to press a space bar and the full experience is there, right? Obviously your sketches are a little bit more, ex more um, extensive, but you get my, what I mean. So, um, and again, this is the link that you would send us. You can copy it directly from your browser, or you can go back here to this one. You can always come back. Let's say I click away from it. You go back to pages. It's going to still let you know that this is where your, um, ex your P5 sketch is published at. And again, just copy this and send that over to us. And then we'll get that uh, posted onto the image GD expo page. Thanks. Uh, let me know if you have any questions um, and I can talk you through it if you need some help. Thanks.